Okay, so you need to understand what is the difference between Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndromes. Basically, it's a spectrum. That's why it is known as Wernicke's Korsakoff syndrome. It happens because of vitamin B1 deficiency, which we know as thymine, usually seen in alcoholics and people who are malnourished. So what happens? Thymine, why the enzyme thymine triphosphatase is required for the metabolism of glucose or utilization of glucose, lipids and carbohydrates, especially in the brain. So if we give glucose in a patient who is thymine deficient, then the patient develops lactic acidosis and it's detrimental for the patient's brain especially. Now, in Wernicke's encephalopathy, it is an acute condition and it is reversible condition. While Korsakoff syndrome is a chronic condition and it is irreversible. In, in Wernicke's encephalopathy, usually the cerebellum is affected, usually the brainstem is affected. So that's why the patient have signs of ataxia, ophthalmoplegia and confusion. While in patients of Korsakoff syndrome, especially the limbic system is involved. So there are two signs which the patient will get. One is amnesia, both anterograde uh, amnesia and retrograde amnesia, means the recent memory as well as the past memory uh, is lost. And there is a typical feature of confabulation, means what happens, the patient tells a story and in between there are gaps and patient tries to fill up uh, that things with an imaginary story, like, just like the kids, they make a story and it feels like real. So that's thing. But the problem is this Korsakoff syndrome is uh, irreversible. So that's why in a patient whom you feel that a uh, patient can have uh, Wernicke's encephalopathy or Korsakoff or patient may have thymine deficiency, it's important to supplement thymine before glucose. Suppose such patients came with hypoglycemia. So at least give thymine along with glucose in those patients. Otherwise, the patient may develop Wernicke's encephalopathy and if not treated, it can lead to coma and that. So always give thymine in a patient whom you suspect of thymine deficiency before or along with glucose. Uh, that's very, very important. So do read more about it.